everybody what's going on thanks for swinging by i sure do appreciate it if this is your first time with the channel my name is mark oh hi mark welcome to fit and fire let's get into this video i am still on the road so i'm doing the best i can with what i got to film for you guys please forgive me for any of the ambient background noises i've got some birds over here that are just chirping like none other i got some dogs over there that just likes to bark at everything so I do apologize for that. I'll try to correct as much of that in post-production as possible. With that being said, I was reached out uh, to by a company called Siley, I believe, to look at a couple of their red dots, uh, namely, namely their Wolf Pro and Cat Pro red dots. And we'll do a separate video for both. But this video, we're going to be looking at the Cat Pro. Uh, Siley is a company that is uh, being shipped in from China. So this is going to be a Hollow Sun 407-507K clone so to speak it does have some different features uh, that are kind of nice but realistically if we're being honest that's basically what it is so I decided to go ahead and give them a try they reached out to me on Instagram they said hey would you be interested and I was like yeah send me one of each and uh, we'll take a look at them I decided to go ahead and throw them onto my p365 XL and beat it up and <laughs> That's what this video is about, to show you what I did to this red dot and whether or not it stood up. So let's talk about some of the features with this red dot. It is a 3 MOA dot that has a, a claim of 50,000 hours of battery life with its Shake Awake technology. And I did test it. It does have Shake Awake. Uh, so at a medium brightness, you should expect a very prolonged battery life what you see with like hollow suns and such. So I really don't have any reason to refute that claim, but uh, it's good to see that technology inside this, um, this red dot. It does have controls on the left side for your brightness and uh, dim, dimming the red dot. It does have two night vision capable settings. Um, I didn't test that out, but I know that Kit Badger also looked at this red dot and it seemed to work with the red dot settings. Um, maybe I'll do a follow up on this video and, and take a look at it. And then the most important aspect of this red dot is the fact that it does have a side uh, access panel for the battery, which is, I think is extremely important for red dots. You really don't want to remove the red dot uh, to swap out batteries. If you do, you're going to have to re-zero that red dot and that's kind of a pain. So having side or top access to the battery compartment is really nice. If you guys are interested, this does take a CR1632 battery. And uh, when I received this in the mail, it came with two batteries. One was already in the uh, unit and then a separate battery as well. So I really did like having that extra battery uh, just to kind of put it into my kit bag and I'll have one should I need it in the future for this or one of my other red dots to take the same type of battery. In addition to that, it did come with some really nice tools. So I was really happy with that. And then of course, all of your uh, paperwork and um, instructions and everything else. So, uh, so far so good on what they uh, included with this red dot and um, really have no complaints about that. I also did like the fact that again this is a RMSC footprint so this could be mounted directly onto the P365. Uh, that's really really nice and the uh, housing is built in such a way that it is it allows the lens to be recessed which is really nice. So we were able to look at doing a little bit more on the torture testing. So let's get into exactly what I did. Took it out to the range. Uh, this is my first impressions. So I only put about 100 to 150 rounds through this. And I started with uh, just shooting at a target to see where it was uh, hitting the point of aim, point of impact was, and then make my adjustment. So I was able to get it on target at 15 yards. Um, really didn't want to take the time to do 25 yards zero, but uh, just being able to put there. it together uh, on target and know that I'm consistent on target at 15 of. yards was fine uh, for me. 
Uh, and from there, once I had it all zeroed, I just went ahead and decided to drop it onto my tailgate from about okay. three, three and a half feet so and it. see if I could get it to land on the unit itself and see if it would cause any issues with the glass. And surprisingly, nothing. I was really surprised. Even though it fell onto my uh, tailgate and then bounced off the tailgate onto the ground, which kind of got a twofer on that one. Uh, I didn't have any concerns with the electronics shifting uh, or the point of aim, point of impact being off after that and the lens was still in place. So I was very happy with that. All right, so firearm is empty. It's about, yeah, it's about three feet. See if I can get it dropped. There we go. And on the ground. Got a, got a two for there. Okay, so far so good. Red dot is still on. Let's see what we can do here. About 15 yards out. Yep, that's pretty good. All right, so from there, what I ended up doing was loading up a magazine of 10 rounds of 124 grain blazer brass and uh, ended up using the ledge of my tailgate as a spot to do one-handed manipulations with this pistol to see if there was going to be any shift in point of aim, point of impact uh, as I rack this off the tailgate of my truck. And after 10 rounds, I was pleasantly surprised that I had no issues. And I was really putting a lot of force into jamming this against my tailgate. I did that to uh, see if there was going to be any shakeup with the electronics on the inside. I have tested another, um, you know, Chinese brand and it did not survive. So to see that this one did survive was uh, an added bonus, and I really did like that. So I know a couple of other YouTubers out there have already uh, done some reviews on this. I know Kit Badger in particular did the same type of test and he didn't have any issues as well. So with that being said, this is going to be a pretty decent red dot for the money. Uh, this is going to be, you know, coming in under what you would find most hollow suns costing and uh, that's pretty decent. I mean, whether these will stand up and have the same QA, QC that Hollow Sun has uh, will be yet to be seen. Maybe we'll get some other YouTubers out there putting it through just as much of a rigorous um, test as I have and some of the other YouTubers as well um, that have kind of beat it up. We'll see if the QA, QC is pretty consistent out there uh, with some of the other ones. I'm going to continue to use it. I'm going to continue to beat it up. Uh, I'll take it to the range and I'll just, we'll you know, just sling this pistol all over the place and, you know, uh, continue to rack it to see if I can break it, <laughs> essentially. But uh, that's what I've got on the Cat Pro. Right, Wanted to hear at? what there you guys are. think. What is your favorite so, budget red dot? Sound off in the comment section down below. Me. This well, one is well, holding right up, there. so hopefully are, uh, we should have no issues good. with so the other red shit. dot that they sent to me that is going to be the wolf pro i will be doing the same type of testing with that one as i did with this one i'll probably put the wolf pro on my psa dagger and you know beat it up a little bit and see what happens from there with that being said, I really do appreciate you guys swinging by. Thanks so much for all of your support and everything that you're doing for the channel. If you haven't already subscribed, I'd uh, encourage you guys to consider doing so. You can just go ahead and click that little button down there. Ring the bell icon if you want to catch more of my videos moving forward or check out some of my older videos. I'll have some cards at the end here. If you guys are interested in the Sealy Cat Pro, I'll leave a link to their website. You guys can check that out. I'm not getting paid to say anything good, bad, or indifferent about this uh, red dot. They just sent it to me. I beat it up and 
have been pleasantly, pleasantly surprised. Uh, if you're looking for something inexpensive, this might be it. But I'll leave it to you guys, let you make your own decision. Thanks so much for the support. As always, freedom through strength. Here comes a high five. Catch you guys later. Bye, y'all.